Hello everybody, good morning, welcome to this training on how to become a worldwide trader, okay? Uh, we have decided to offer this training because so many people have asked questions on, under the comment section uh, of our previous video on how to become a, a trader. What do they need? What are the requirements? What is the background required and so on? the reason why we decided to offer this training to you uh, today okay so by the end of the training of this lecture i mean you should be able to become a trader and decide what you want to trade whether you want to trade rice crude oil natural gas or whatever whatever you can become a trader at least you have the tricks here what are the required steps okay so uh let's keep the ball rolling the first thing you have to do if you want to become to become a worldwide trader is to decide what you want you really want to trade okay decide what you really want to trade what goods you want to trade it may be rice or whatever okay you decide next thing to do is to decide the name you are going to use whether maybe you may want to use your personal name or you want to incorporate a company okay you do that i don't know you give your name or whatever so that you have a letter head because you'll be communicating using documents and these documents have to carry a letter head okay which represents your business okay then uh, the second thing to do is to locate the potential buyers okay the potential buyers you have to locate them after you have located the potential buyers then you send an offer to sell you prepare an offer a few documents that where you present your product the quality the quantities that are available and the procedure okay then you send an offer to them okay this in the offer you also send the price you put the price and all the required the quotations okay send a pro forma to the buyer to in fact to present your your product to them okay with all the 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 cure and cure okay the quantity and quality okay after the buyer will receive the, uh, the have received the offer he can send a letter of intention to you if he's interested okay the loi we send to you the letter of intention in this letter of intention he says i appreciate your products and or your goods and i am ready to buy then you ask him to send to you the letter of credit which comes from his bank this letter of credit shows that at least he has the fund and the money to do to deal okay after you have received the letter of credit now you take the letter of credit to the manufacturer okay you take the letter of credit to the manufacturer and as I said it is very important please keep in mind it is important for you to have your bank account in the same country with the manufacturer okay to make things easy you open a bank account in the same country with the manufacturer ask for the confirmed letter of credit okay you have to ask for a confirmed letter of credit and once you receive this confirmed letter of credit from his bank, okay, pay attention to the reference number, the operate the operation days, and the list of documents you have to submit because in any transaction, all the transactions all around the world, they will they will uh, they will ask you to provide some documents, okay? So. Uh, pay attention to this know the documents that you need to present to them then you take the document to your bank at least five operating days okay at least five operating days before the expiry date mentioned on the letter of credit then you go to your bank and ask for letter of proceed the letter of proceed comes to you from your banks we call it l l a p okay letter of proceed then you collect it from your bank now you forward the the, the money they have sent okay they because they send the buyer will send money to your uh, to your account or um, 
I mean, the buyer, once they have sent you, forward it to the manufacturer, the uh, letter of proceed, okay? Once you have the letter of proceed from the manufacturer, from your bank, then the manufacturer will load the goods in the ship or in the vessel, okay? Before they load it, send a letter to the buyer to tell him, okay, we are about to load the goods in the vessel. So get ready to receive your goods, okay? Once it is loaded, then confirmation is done and the, 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 the buyer's bank will then forward 90% of the money to the manufacturer and the 10 percent in your bank account okay avoid c convention please note that in business c convention is very 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 bad okay avoid c convention how can you do that you sign a non c convention non-disclosure agreement you sign a non c convention non-disclosure agreement with the uh, the guys you are dealing with the seller and the buyer at least the non c convention agreement prevents prevents you uh, the, the, from from them to put you aside because at time if they have uh, the informations okay if the buyer has the informations of the manufacturer then they will just put you aside and deal without you everything has to go through you reason why you have to sign a non c convention non disclosure agreement with them okay as i said it is very important that you have your own company with a good letterhead because that is where everything starts okay with a good letterhead okay uh, and don't forget the non c convention non disclosure agreement and uh, please encourage us like the video share with your mates and comments leave if you have any question post in the comment section and we will bring it we will give you some we will throw some more light on the questions so thank you very much and good luck